What up, everybody? It is your friend from AH Films in the year 2015. What is this? Ooh! A new set, right? Well, guys, this actually belongs to this set right here, guys. This is my friend's Lego Technic set. This is set number 42009. This is the Mobile Crane MK2. It comes with 2,000. 606 pieces. Now, this is a part of the Lego Technic set. It is very long, and right here, I'm right here with, um, Tech, Techie, Bagel Tech, Bagel Tech, right here, and, um, yeah, here Hi. he is. This is him. That's his face reveal. Alright, so, um, go ahead and fire it up. Let's show them what awesome new things are with this certain kind of Lego Technic set. Okay, so, for here, uh, I have the uh, game control panel. Yep. Um, this is basically your hub of all your controls. And up in here, we have a bunch of uh, switch gears. Um, so let's get let's get you let's get you yeah let's get you um, about the side view and the back view. That so right that's there's battery pack. That's a battery pack right there, guys. Um. Now, you have this switch up here, and this is actually a manual control for the hook, am I correct? Um, well, it's for everything. Alright, so this is basically the main power function area of this whole Lego set. And apparently, what is this, a 2-in-1? Um, yes, this is a 2-in-1. Um, it does have a B model, if I can show that on the box. It's a, uh, reach stacker. So the guys, that's the second model. If you want to build that, um, that's two vehicles in one. Um, but now, um, one thing is, is uh, the instructions for the reach stacker do not come with it, so you have to go online right. and get those instructions. All right. So online are the instructions for the second one. But we have what six instruction books here? I yeah. Believe? Six, all right. So six that's books. six instruction books right here for all of everything. I mean, these are huge instruction sets. So. If you don't like instructions, this might not be the set for you. <laughs> if you want to be creative, I don't know what you guys like, but... Alright, so, um... Also, um, one thing I want to say is, also, uh, there's a lot of cool modifications out on the internet, um, that you can do if you like to be a bit more creative, or maybe you like, uh, if, like, if you have the mind storms, uh, there are some places in, uh, you can put in your mind storms motors and stuff. But, um, I say we get to the function. Alright, so let's first show them, um, a cab view of the whole thing. So this is the front, guys. This is the front where our a driver would sit. Yeah, there's some chairs in there. I'll get a minifig scale view. So steering wheel, some chairs. That's all the way in the back. Another chair. And the big hook, which is part of the extension crane. So let's go ahead and get that fired up. Okay, now first, um, this is kind of standardized, but all cranes, big giant trucks with all these heavy machineries. So uh, I guess Lego decided to incorporate this into um, the mobile crane too. I guess. So yeah. So this here, is like a semi truck. Yeah. Um, so we what we can do is um, back here if you want to show. Um, there is a switch. Um, I don't know if you can see that too well. Wait for it to focus. I guess not. So that's to focus. There's a switch there. Yeah. There's a switch there. Um, but that's for um, these outriggers here. So what I can do is I flip, first flip it into extension mode. Extension the mode. Flip the switch up here. And this is automatic, guys. This is doing it for us. Look at that. There's some things moving in the back there. And now I can flip the switch the other way. Make it go down. Now, um, one minor thing um, about this is it takes forever. Yeah, it outriggers. takes it takes a while for the uh, little outriggers to get down, guys, so just be patient. All of them come down at the same time, but it's totally worth it because the set is super awesome. Yeah, but uh, also this is mainly because uh, it uses a lot of torque because uh, it, it's kind of hard to see, but it takes the wheels somewhat off the ground a little bit, uh, but in order to do this, uh, it needs to have a lot of torque in order to, and um, what they do to do this is they take um uh, all right, I guess it's done. They take a giant gear and that's what's spinning and connected to the motor, which is back here. Um 
and then they hook it up to a, uh, oh no, they take a little gear and they hook it up to a big gear, and it spins slower, but it gets a lot more power. Um, alright, so now let's get to the arm. Um, so now I can flip the switch up here. And let me just center that. So there's a lot of switches, guys. Yeah. If you're, you gotta be a technical guy to do this. But, um, I mean, it, it, yeah, it you, is easy for everybody, but it, it, it just takes a little while to get used to it. Mm -hmm. So you see the gear, the gears are moving inside, and the crane's moving up, guys. Yeah. See that? We got here large actuators. These are just basically bigger models of what they used for the outriggers. Uh, these are just smaller actuators. And um, is that metal in there? Um, yeah, that is metal. Um, that's just for extra support because it's so heavy. If I was able to take the arm off right now, uh, you'd be able to feel it's very heavy. Um, so, yeah, alright, so that's its, ma that's its maximum height, guys. So oh, that wait, oh, oh, wait, you forgot something. Oh, yeah, that is not actually the maximum height. That yeah. is, that, how tall is that, you think about, and um, one and a half feet? Yeah, I'm going to say one and a half feet. I know for sure that this comes up 65 degrees. Um, so I'm gonna say that's that's pretty good. That's pretty degrees. tall. I mean, the ceiling's up there. That's where that is. So um, there's actually an extension to it. So okay. go ahead and fire that one up. It's triple telescopic extension. So if you want to take a look up here, um, when I flip the switch, you'll see. Um, I have a. Oh, I guess it's the wrong way. Uh, you gotta give it a minute. The worm drive takes a bit. Okay, so now you can see is this piece up here comes up double the speed of this, and this piece also extends. So you guys see that this is expanding even higher, um, and there's the hook, so I think it's Oh, see wait, hold on, I forgot to do something. One major thing with the extension. This hook, it takes a lot more rope to get down, so first what i got to do is I've got to flip that. And Give us a little more line. So that, guys, also comes down. So there's a lot of stuff that moves automatically. You don't have to do it. It'll just do it on its own. Um, it will take a little bit because it is Lego. It is not an actual robot. So, um, yeah, so that's that comes down all the way down to the ground, right? Oh, that goes even further here. Yeah. I'll show you once this is all the way extended, that goes down pretty far. Yeah, and after maximum height, I mean, look at that. It's expanding even more. Oh, and it's only like halfway done. So yeah, guys, this is a pretty tall thing. How would you estimate how tall this is? It's? Um, it's gonna be about um, I'm gonna say about three feet. So three feet, guys. That's how tall this thing is. So uh, the hook goes further than the ground. Oh than yeah. Than this table right here. Yeah, it can go way past the truck. Oh, is that on the? Oh, yeah, um, it takes a little while to get used to, guys, but your buttons will work out after a while. Yeah, also, another thing is, is um, uh, depending on how you set it up, uh, sometimes this will happen differently um, for anybody. I, I don't know why, really, but it's weird. Um, but uh, they, let's say you want to extend the arm, um, making it go up is a different direction on the switch than making it go up, which is kind of weird, but um, it, it's still pretty cool. You get used to it. Um, yeah, and this is a really... How much did you think this cost in U.S. dollars? Um, it cost $220 from Lego. Alright, so yeah, $220, um, probably a little higher or lower on other uh, retail sites. But yeah, we'll just um, stop talking and we'll let this do its thing. Yeah, also... Um, one more thing, um, the, um, also, if you are a LEGO VIP member, you get a lot of points. Yeah, you do get a lot of points, and actually, I have the Mindstorm, so I was saving up my points, so, uh, I only had to pay about 190 bucks. So, guys, if you save up your points, that's what you get, so, we're gonna let yeah. this thing go and also, do its thing. this thing rotates 360. Wow, that, that's really tall. All right. Yeah, I know. That can you can attach like a wrecking ball thing or something oh, yeah, like that. Alright, so yeah, that thing goes all the way down. Um bring it back up because right. that's that's pretty long. There's gotta be a long line of string. So guys, we're gonna let this go. Um 
and we're going to play some music, and we hope you enjoy another look at this awesome LEGO Technic mobile crane. Yeah, guys, that that is it. That is the giant mobile crane. Um, we really hope you enjoyed this video. Please go subscribe to AH Films and Bagel Tech. Um, yeah, so guys, if you enjoyed this video, um, you can go ahead give it um, a thumbs up. Now, if you are looking to do for us to do more Lego reviews just like this one, please go ahead, comment, and subscribe in the comment section below. Now, if you are new to this channel and this is the first video that you've seen, also go ahead and subscribe and tell me a little bit about yourself in the discussion section below or email me at ahfilms123 at gmail.com. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching and, of course, film on.